Hi guys! Welcome to the Brainy Buzz channel. So before we get started make sure to hit that like button, also subscribe to my channel. What would happen if Earth lost gravity for 5 seconds? So make sure to watch the full video. What if there were no gravity on Earth? Gravity is one of those things we take completely for granted. And there are two things about it that we take for granted. The fact that it is always there, and the fact that it never changes. If the Earth's gravity were ever to change significantly, it would have a huge effect on nearly everything, because so many things are designed around the current state of gravity. Before looking at changes in gravity, however, it is helpful to first understand what gravity is. Gravity is an attractive force between any two atoms. Let's say you take two golf balls and place them on a table. There will be an incredibly slight gravitational attraction between the atoms in those two golf balls. If you use two massive pieces of lead and some amazingly precise instruments, you can actually measure an infinitesimal attraction between them. It is only when you get a gigantic number of atoms together, as in the case of the planet Earth, that the force of gravitational attraction is significant. The reason why gravity on Earth never changes is because the mass of the Earth never changes. The only way to suddenly change the gravity on Earth would be to change the mass of the planet. A change in mass great enough to result in a change in gravity isn't going to happen anytime soon. Could we survive without gravity? But let's ignore the physics and imagine that, one day, the planet's gravity turned off, and suddenly, there was no force of gravity on planet Earth. This would turn out to be a pretty bad day. We depend on gravity to hold so many things down. Cars, people, furniture, pencils and papers on your desk and so on. Everything not stuck in place would suddenly have no reason to stay down, it would start floating. But it's not just furniture, and the like that would start to float. Two of the more important things held on the ground by gravity are the atmosphere and the water in the oceans, lakes and rivers. Without gravity, the air in the atmosphere has no reason to hang around, and it would immediately leap into space. This is the problem the moon has. The moon doesn't have enough gravity to keep an atmosphere around it so it's in a near vacuum. Without an atmosphere, any living thing would die immediately and anything liquid would boil away in a space. In other words, no one would last long if the planet didn't have gravity. How can parts of Canada be missing gravity? For more than 40 years, scientists have tried to figure out what's causing large parts of Canada, particularly the Hudson Bay region, to be missing gravity. In other words, gravity in the Hudson Bay area and surrounding regions is lower than it is in other parts of the world, a phenomenon first identified in the 1960s when the Earth's global gravity fields were being charted. Two theories have been proposed to account for this anomaly, but before we go over them, it's important to first consider what creates gravity. At a basic level, gravity is proportional to mass. So when the mass of an area is somehow made smaller, gravity is made smaller. Gravity can vary on different parts of the Earth. Although we usually think of it as a ball, the Earth actually bulges at the equator and gets flatter at the poles due to its rotation. The Earth's mass is not spread out proportionally, and it can shift position over time. So scientists proposed two theories to explain how the mass of the Hudson Bay area had decreased and contributed to the area's lower gravity. One theory centers on a process known as convection occurring in the Earth's mantle. The mantle is a layer of molten rock called magma and exists between 60 and 124 miles, 100 to 200 kilometers, below the surface of the Earth. Magma is extremely hot and constantly whirling and shifting, rising and falling, to create convection currents. Convection drags the Earth's continental plates down, which decreases the mass in that area and decreases the gravity. A new theory to account for the Hudson Bay area's missing gravity concerns the Laurentide Ice Sheet, which covered much of present-day Canada and the northern United States. This ice sheet was almost 2 miles, 3.2 kilometers, thick in most sections, and in two areas of Hudson Bay, it was 2.3 miles, 3.7 kilometers, thick. It was also very heavy and weighed down the Earth. Over a period of 10,000 years, the Laurentide Ice Sheet melted, finally disappearing 10,000 years ago. It left a deep indentation in the Earth. To get a better idea of what happened, 
Think about what happens when you lightly press your finger into the surface of a cake or a piece of really springy bread. Some of it moves to the sides and there's an indentation. But when you remove your finger, it bounces back to normal. A similar thing happened with the Laurentide ice sheet, the theory proposes. Except the Earth isn't so much bouncing back as it is rebounding very slowly, less than half an inch per year. In the meantime, the area around Hudson Bay has less mass because some of the Earth has been pushed to the sides by the ice sheet. Less mass means less gravity. So which theory is correct? It turns out that both of them are. Convection and the ice sheet's rebound effect are both causing some of the decrease in gravity around Hudson Bay. First, we'll consider the ice sheet theory. To calculate the impact of the Laurentide ice sheet, scientists at the Harvard-Smithsonian Center for Astrophysics used data gathered by the Gravity Recovery and Climate Experiment, GRACI, satellites between April 2002 and April 2006. The GRACI satellites are highly sophisticated machines, orbiting about 310 miles 500 kilometers above the Earth and 137 miles 220 kilometers apart. The satellites can measure distances down to a micron, so they can detect minor gravitational variations. When the lead satellite flies over the Hudson Bay area, the decrease in gravity causes the satellite to move slightly away from the Earth and from its sister satellite. This shift in distance is detected by the satellites and used to calculate the change in gravity. Any shifts detected can also be used to create maps of gravitational fields. What secrets of gravity have been uncovered in the last 50 years? What goes up must come down. That's gravity in a nutshell, or at least gravity as we most commonly encounter it on Earth. The force is a lot more complicated than that, however. It binds cosmic bodies to their orbits, forms galaxies and stars out of dust, and even warp space-time. Due to rapid scientific advancement, our scientific understanding of gravity has improved quite a bit over the last 50 years. For starters, scientists finally figured out why regions of Canada boast marginally less gravity than the rest of the world. What do you think of our video? Let me know in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that like button. Also subscribe to our channel before you go.